And the German Empire went with George of Hanover will be Francois III in choosing the new French head of state. Now the Germans and Portuguese have some quasi-cooperation going on while they finish off the Spanish communists who have decided they really want some of this territory over there that belongs to the Kingdom of France now. End of the Franco-German War. Yep. Improved decryption. We are done. But now... I'm going to start atomic research. Um, I don't actually plan to end up needing to use it, but we are going to start researching atomic weapons. to be able to use nukes and all that jazz. And would you look at that? The uh, Socialist Republic of Italy has decided to start saying hi. I don't predict they'll get too far, because it's Italy, and as everyone knows, Italy was World War II's Austria. Translation, they suck. German Empire. Air Annex, the Spanish Communists. Hmm. But what is Portugal going to do now? Uh, mm, mm, Portugal is effectively the lord and master of most of the Iberian Peninsula now. Are they going to become the new Spain? Effectively? Or will they puppet Spain? Can they even puppet Spain with that little bit up north as well as the Balericas being owned by Germany? Air transport plane 1934 is done. Let's see here. I'll get Interceptor 1940 for now. Just keep our Interceptors on side for the time being. But the Italians, they're getting nice and pushed back for the time being. At least for now, they are. And that will probably continue because it's Italy. And as I said before, they suck. Because Italy. Because Italy. I need no better reason than that, after all. At least sucks because they suck. Smiley face. Small arms assembly is done, so we can hopefully make our infantry a little faster. Aircraft. We're also going to need to be able to be pretty fast with producing aircraft. Because as I've expressed in the past, Japan has a fairly substantial air force, and one that we're going to need to be able to counter by having our own pretty substantial air force. And in order to do that, we need to be able to produce our planes nice and quick. German Empire annex the United Baltic Duchy. who decided to become an imperial state. Not that it does them much good, because that's the eastern slice of land currently occupied by Ukraine, where the Germans will need to deal with at some point. 
So before the United Baltic Duchy and really be a German state, Germany is going to have to liberate most of their nation from the Ukrainians. And at some point, Germany will also probably need to deal with the Soviets, who are currently rampaging through Siberia and causing Japan all kinds of trouble. Not that Germany's probably too upset about that, because it means Japan is too busy to decide to attack their colonies or something. Especially after Japan declared openly that they wanted to bring down Germany. So the fact that Japan is busy with the Soviets probably is making Germany very happy at the moment. And right now Poland is rampaging through Ukraine. That's nice. The Kingdom of Spain has been liberated as a puppet under the German Empire. Not much of a kingdom. Hell, that's not even the whole territory of the king fucking Kingdom of Aragon. It's pathetic. <sighs> Right now, we are just about to hit zero descent. And when we do, I'm going to crank down our consumer goods to the minimum we need. Government nationalizes the private sector. Oh, that gives us one descent, but fine. Actually, let's put that up just a tiny bit. I can drop reinforcement. Sun upgrades down. And I can put a massive amount into production. There's now a whole lot more stuff I can produce, including be able to churn out a boatload more infantry divisions. Speaking of divisions... I'm going to wait until we can do... Nah, I'm gonna wait until we can actually produce medium tanks to do this, but I can make tanks now and throw them in with my armies. Hmm. <laughs> Lots of industry, lots of industry, and we got it all coming in now. This is going very well. More of it, too. And to just show you Italy now, you can see how ineffective they have been so far. The Italians have basically lost already, though the Australasian Confederation is ending up with a handful of provinces in there, for whatever reason. How they got out here, from all the way in the Far East, I don't have a damn clue. But 1939 motorized infantry is done now. Uh, 
Now I'll get airborne infantry to be able to throw paratroopers into the mix when we eventually invade Taiwan. And as you can see, Germany is having some fun over here liberating the Baltics from Ukraine. We should have known better than to get involved with communism. Because the Germans don't like communists, after all. And when Germany doesn't like a particular philosophy in Kaiserreich, they tend to invade the countries that hold that philosophy. Socialist Republic of Italy has been annexed. A handful of its provinces ended up in the Australasian Confederation. I don't know why, I gotta be honest. I haven't got a damn clue what the Australasians are doing over here in bloody Italy. But the Italian Federation is now a puppet of Germany. So, while they haven't managed to invade and subdue the Union of Britain just yet... The Germans, once they finish off the Ukraine, will have effectively won this war. Because the Union of Britain alone is not going to be able to defeat the Germans. Actually, wait a second. Portugal. Let's see. That's interesting. Hmm. For some reason, the porch, the Spain up here that was a puppet of the German Empire has now flipped to Portugal, who has made Spain their puppet state. It's a very unexpected outcome, and I have to be honest, I didn't even know that could happen, that a puppet could just be made into another nation's puppet like that. It's like the Kingdom of Spain flipped control over to Portugal, or possibly because Portugal made the Kingdom of Spain they controlled into their puppet, all of those just flipped over to their control because they were two countries under the same name? I don't know. It's really confusing and I don't understand the half of it. Basic medium tank is done. We'll get improved medium tank. And now... Germany only has one front they actually have to worry about. Over here in the Baltics and the Ukraine, they can just worry about carving their way through the occupied Baltic territories and putting down the Ukrainian communists. More industry ready for deployment. One hundred and eighty. Our industrial capacity is growing daily. We have about a hundred and twenty industry less than the Germans do. And that is an achievement. Having only about a hundred and twenty less than Germany? Impressive. Very impressive. Converted light carrier is done. We'll keep at it with our naval research. And I can finally start researching aircraft carriers. 
as we get more industry. So yay for more industry. Ah, right. I'm also getting more troops I can deploy. Interesting. You guys... Get him a promotion so he can command all those divisions properly. A policy can be changed. More interventionism, please. Because why the hell not, right? Why the fuck wouldn't I go for more interventionism? More divisions that can be deployed coming up all the damn time. You also get a promotion, so you, you can stand around there effectively and guard that port. These couple down here need some more divisions to increase their numbers a little. Just so that there's enough of them to actually guard those landing sites effectively. Interceptor 1940 is done. Transport plane 1938. More industrial capacity keeps finishing up. Now you go there. Aircraft assembly line. Vehicle for tanks and stuff. The New Year horse, and I gotta be honest, a lot of that's just flavor text, so I think I'm going to stop reading it. And the Philippines is no longer a Japanese puppet, it's just their ally now. I'm not sure when or how that happened, but it did happen at some point. Okay, now... Let's put some of these tanks into the production queue. 38 Airborne Division is ready to go. Logistics 1940. 
thank you, Mr. Atomic Research. I can now start towards the other thing I want to be able to do at some point. Making nukes. Of course, I can't make nukes yet. I need to go a bit more down the research tree and actually get a nuclear research facility into play, but it's an option I will eventually have. And I've started down that path. Because who knows, I may have to nuke Hiroshima and Nagasaki to get Japan to surrender. Hashtag shameless World War II references. I'm sorry. That was awful, I know. In any case, I'm not sure how much of this last little bit that's actually going to end up being in the recording, because I've noticed that I've not actually been talking a whole lot through this, simply due to the fact that it's been a lot of building and industrialization and putting my soldiers in X location type of thing. Because there's not been a whole lot going on. Great military parade and capital, blah blah blah. There's not been a whole lot going on that was actually worth commentating, so... It's pretty likely that a good chunk of this I'm going to end up doing one of two things. Number one is I will simply edit all the boring crap out. Number two... I may decide that instead of editing it out, I'll just turn all the industrialization and me sitting there waiting for things to happen after I decided enough staring at Western Europe. After all of that, I may just decide to turn it into a time lapse. Speaking of which, let's have another look at Western Europe and get a load of that Ukraine. Germany sure didn't waste any time pushing them back to the Crimean Peninsula, did they? <laughs> Don't know how long they're going to exist for, but in Ukraine, I suggest you savor your continuing existence. You're not going to enjoy it for long. Mwahahahahaha. <laughs> So now, continue to deploy a handful of divisions on these points so that I don't unexpectedly lose somebody or some port if I end up fighting war with Japan. Converted carrier. Now I'll start doing research into the more obsolete <clears throat> naval vessels, so we get those up to at least the 1930s. Oh, cute, Ukraine. You think you can beat back the Germans when they control basically your whole country. That's so adorable of you. It's just sweet. Of course, now the Germans have to cross this thing and get it to the Ukraine, which is probably pretty heavily fortified, so they'll probably be stuck in a stalemate situation for a while. same time, plenty of industry is finishing up, and another research option is now done. Large front. So, 1942, that one is. I'll get it first. The 43 one, I'll try and wait until 1943 to do, actually. There is a boatload more industry. This is going well for us. <laughs> Someone else we can deploy. Lieutenant General. Let's just put a general general in charge. So he can effectively command all seven divisions.
get reinforcements down to zero again. A lot of our divisions are going up to 1936 again. Vehicle assembly completed. Shipyard assembly. If I ever get around to pumping out a navy to fight Japan on the open seas, that'll help us make it a lot faster. Troops I can deploy. Have a general deep logistics organization is done. More research into Airborne divisions, I think. Landing paratroopers on Taiwan, like I said. It's on my list of things to do. Divisions that can be deployed. I think I've got my ports well and truly covered, so... It's time to start plunking people down... ...on the Japanese border. And prepare for our inevitable war with the Japanese. Get a couple of field marshals down as well. And make the armies over there as big as I possibly can. Just throw numbers at them, basically. Transport 38 is done. Get me that multi roll, please. Improve medium tank. All righty. It's a few months early, but let's move on that tank 1943, advanced medium tank. How are things going for Germany? Well, they still haven't managed to deal with Ukraine or invade the British Isles. And the Soviets seem stalled against Siberia right now, so nothing going on in Europe that needs my attention right now. Early battleship research is done. Research the next phase of that. I want all my naval technology in the 1930s if I can manage it.
going to keep on deploying people on the front with Japan, I think. Keep on getting ready and just pouring more troops into that gap. Uh, so that I am as ready as I possibly can be on the day that war with the Japanese comes. Alright. Next level of atomic research is done. Let's do that nuclear research. Get on it. I want to be able to nuke Japan back to the Stone Age and beyond. More industry coming in. Now this general needs to become a field marshal to be able to command those people. More people that need to be deployed. And we continue to upgrade our infantry divisions. I very much doubt we'll get all of our divisions upgraded before we have to go to war with the Japanese. It's probably not going to happen that way. More industry going through. And we just crossed the 200 industrial capacity mark. Is it time to party? Fuck no. We don't get to party about our industrial capacity until we've outpaced the Germans. So four to five hundred industrial capacity, that is my goal, I think. That is my goal. Ship assembly line this done. Now, do experimental rockets. I've been sitting on my hands with regard to that rocket technology for ages now. I need to get it done. Do I have anyone who is actually skilled in that technology tree? I don't seem to. I'll just pick some random person who is not skilled in the area in the slightest. Just give them a job they're totally unsuited for. Oh well, I'm sure they'll eventually figure out how this whole thing's supposed to work, right? It'll be fine. Relax. It's the worst that could happen. Come on! What, they're gonna trip over a few things? Maybe accidentally nuke themselves? Or set off a rocket inside Beijing? What could possibly go wrong? It, it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Now we have hit 1943. It's been long enough since I saved that I feel like I need another one. <clears throat> Speaking of which, <clears throat> I think this is a good place <clears throat> to end this recording. 
So, this has been Dark Phoenix Gaming, and you've been watching my Let's Play of Kaiserreich Legacy of the Welt Krieg. If you've enjoyed this, then please leave a like, share this video with anyone else you think might also enjoy it, comment down below with any tips or suggestions, or just insightful commentary that you have for this series, and subscribe to see more like this. <clears throat> the next time you see this video, you should probably be aware of this, the next time you see a video in this series, it's not going to be at this exact time, because I am going to be skipping ahead a little bit and going forward in time some. Because there's not much going on right now. It's just literally me sitting around waiting for industry to tick by and soldiers to be recruited. So I'm going to play a bunch of this off camera. And then I'll come, come back when my soldier recruitment industrialization has completed to an appropriate level. I will... Rem hopefully remember to take notes and stuff so that I'm able to give you a rough summary of what happened while you're away if there was anything interesting whatsoever, which there probably won't be. But anyways, uh, when you next come back, I'll have finished a good chunk of my industrialization project and be ready to go back to military expansion, I think. So, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. See you then, folks. See you then.